Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. Today, we will discuss some very significant and optimistic developments in the Bitcoin sector. So far, we have seen some encouraging signals. I'd like to have a chat with you about some really important signals. For your alternative coin holdings, what does this mean? If institutional investors aren't buying, how low may cryptocurrency prices go? In this video, we'll discuss all of that and more. Please give the updates a thumbs up if you found them helpful. Not intended as investment guidance. So, without further ado, let's watch the video. In my most recent updates, I have discussed the importance of Wall Street money. This is a major development that poses serious competition to Coinbase. This is where you can read the article. There will soon be a cryptocurrency exchange on Wall Street. Why? That may potentially hurt Coinbase. And in a way, this works out well for us. It was announced on Tuesday that a new cryptocurrency exchange sponsored by a group of traditional Wall Street institutions, including Charles Schwab and Citadel Securities, has began accepting trading. Online exchanges like Coinbase need to be vigilant. Before we get into the specifics, I'd like to set the stage. Check out this tweet by Z. He brags about his immaculate timing, but in this case, more is more. That way, he can interpret subtle meanings. If you guys can't keep up with the news, I'll let you in on a little secret. The SEC has been going after Binance and Coinbase. This couldn't have come at a worse time. In the backdrop, they are creating cryptocurrency exchanges backed by Wall Street. Binance and Coinbase are both being sued at the same time. At the same time, however, the SEC's prospective friends are creating their own major cryptocurrency exchange as well as other major initiatives. But take a quick peek. My guess is that there is a hidden system of favorite trading on Wall Street. That's how I feel about it. Again, your beliefs are your own, but as crypto investors, what does this signify for us right now? In my opinion, this is a very bullish sign for the price of cryptocurrencies. A major new cryptocurrency exchange that aims to become a portal will, once again, be funded by Wall Street. It will open the floodgates for more demand in the cryptocurrency market. This might lead to a dramatic increase in the value of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Some of the most prominent cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, will be on display. Once all this massive Wall Street money is released, I think they'll be in terrific shape. One notable aspect of this cryptocurrency exchange is that it explicitly states its intention to serve simply as an exchange, like the New York Stock Exchange does for equities. It will not act as a broker or a custodian. It will help other institutions settle on fair prices for crypto trades without needing to hold any of the assets throughout the transaction. That dynamic right there is quite intriguing. Whether its aspirations are those of a decentralized exchange or those of an institutional broker, this is undoubtedly an exciting new direction for the industry. We're going to keep an eye on that, as I anticipate positive effects on the cryptocurrency market as a result of it. But he claims to already know that. He knows exactly what is happening. And I believe it will be really competitive for Binance, for Coinbase, especially if you have a SEC who's targeting, you know, Binance and Coinbase, but also giving the green light to these other major crypto exchanges. Which suggests that it may come down to who you know on Wall Street. Even as fears of a global economic slowdown become louder, the cryptocurrency market is showing signs of green. You all are aware that the state of the macro economy is precarious at the present. Things are really weird in the macro economy, inflation is present, but the job market seems to be holding up. What though? Investment dollars are flowing into the cryptocurrency market. True or false? The market is seeing a rise in capital. That's great news for alternative cryptocurrencies. One thing we do look at quite frequently on the channel is the growth of alternative cryptocurrencies. As they emerge, we investigate them to see what they have to offer. The good news is that this has occurred. As a result, institutional investors are pouring into the altcoin market, which could lead to the launch of brand new cryptocurrencies and pre-sales. That sounds like a truly thrilling adventure. And you can see how some of these figures are really beginning to increase. 
May was the first month to reach the $1 billion barrier in crypto market investments since September 2022, according to statistics compiled by Cointelegraph Research from the Ventures Capital Database, with June expected to serve as a critical benchmark for the development of VC investments. As a result, I anticipate that the cryptocurrency market is about to experience a promising upswing. Also, a big thank you to everyone who stuck with crypto even when it was cold. What next, if the cryptocurrency market experiences exponential growth? To avoid missing out, FOMO, everyone will be flocking to where I am. But I want to thank you for tuning in even during these difficult times. Even if the global economy is in a bit of a crisis right now, if we do have some large winds of fortune very soon, this basically implies the altcoins are going to appear hot potentially in the pre-sales. For today, we also have several more extremely bullish green indications to discuss. Let's have a peek at this one. Deutsche Bank has applied for a license to deal in digital assets. Large international investment banks are expanding once more to the next level. According to this report, the $1.4 trillion Deutsche Bank has applied for a crypto custody license. Historically, we have seen banks like Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan, and some of these other ones, like BlackRock, to be large funders of crypto. So, guys, if you can't see the signals now, I don't know if you ever will. The goal has been to scare people out of the market by spreading false information. But check this out. This development into licensing digital assets is fascinating. Deutsche Bank has applied for a digital asset custody license, as is indicated below. That implies digital currency, gents. This means that Deutsche Bank and cryptocurrencies may work together. Indeed, it appears to be exciting. And you need to keep the big picture in mind as well. If Deutsche Bank follows through, other major banks may experience FOMO. It's understandable that they could worry about falling behind if they don't start selling crypto solutions and digital assets. Another positive indicator is that banks will be vying with one another for profit. Good news for those of us who were early users of the cryptocurrency sector if they decide to re-enter the market. Another encouraging sign that the market is about to rise. So far, today has shown nothing but optimistic signals. A really upbeat report. Also, a new MasterCard trademark application for blockchain technology is included. So, we have one of the largest financial institutions in the world. A trademark application is being prepared. Therefore, you wouldn't file for a trademark unless you were confident in the product. A recently uncovered patent application indicates that MasterCard has plans to develop software tailored to Bitcoin and blockchain transactions. The world's second largest payment processor plans to streamline crypto-based transactions by cutting back on intermediaries for digital assets. Another positive indicator for the cryptocurrency industry, it seems. Once more, widespread use could be on the horizon. Possible arrival of substantial institutional funding. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are riding a wave of optimism right now thanks to positive security developments. Remember this in case the Apple App Store hosts a phony Trezor wallet that steals cryptocurrency from users' accounts. I don't understand how this was even considered for approval. Always exercise extreme caution when dealing with cryptocurrency and use the Trezor wallet suite. As a result, you should anticipate that con artists will operate on platforms like YouTube and Telegram, spreading false information via direct message scams. Phishing URLs will be posted on Twitter and Telegram by imposters posing as administrators. You certainly don't want your entire crypto portfolio to be drained, so it's important to stay on top of these notifications and remain aware of these frauds at all times. But it does happen, and it has happened to users downloading the Trezor Wallet suite that you see before you now. That's quite disheartening to watch. But, perhaps, the authorities will stop any such cons from happening. And if you look at this tweet by Michael Saylor, you'll notice that Bitcoin is hot stuff. So Bitcoin's current prospects are very promising. For the market's future, I see nothing but sunshine. And once again, if the crypto market keeps on shifting, I don't think it's fair what they've done to Binance and Coinbase in particular, 
but you see this enormous Wall Street money coming in, and you see these guys construct crypto exchanges. Having said that, I anticipate the future to be prosperous if you retain cryptocurrency. And if you do, today's crypto booms present an amazing opportunity. Is this the quiet before the storm, then? Lots of digital currencies are up by double digits today. So, Pepe is at a 10.9% success rate. So, men, a shout out to all the uplifters in the room. There are a number of other significant cryptocurrencies in your possession. The outlook is promising. But in general, gentlemen, the crypto market is doing quite well. My guess is... Honestly, the crypto industry has a bright future. We do cover major updates in the world of cryptocurrencies, so if you enjoy our articles, please give us a thumbs up. Ship, Luna, Classic, and Pepe all receive updates on occasion. At other times, we'll cover breaking crypto news or investigate a promising but high-risk cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is high-risk, high-reward, so keep that in mind. Today's society has made tremendous strides forward. Keep in mind that the channel's pricing can go up or down at any time, and that your expectations should reflect this. I do, however, value your attention to the video. Go out and enjoy the day. I'll catch up with you all in the next one. See you later. Bye.